everyone, welcome back to the Cat Scrappiness YouTube channel. So today's project, I'll be including a die from the Crafters Essentials die set. I'll be mainly using the circle die, the stitch circle die from that set. This is the Sweet Word and Sentiment die. And then also um, just the mini uh, circle here in the embossed edge circle dies. So this project has a lot of dies, so be prepared. This is the newest release. This is the Christmas ornament shaker dies. I'll be using the round ornament. And then this one is the slimline mountainscape dies that was newly released. I'll be using the snow cap uh, mountain die there, as well as that big mountain um, shaped background. And then the Cuppa Christmas Slimline Paper Pack. And this is double-sided. It's nice quality cardstock. And I really like the designer patterns on this um, set here. As you can see, I already used some up. I was inspired by this donut designer paper. And then I like how the um, icing is dripping there. And then so that is the paper pack that I used. And then as far as the embellishments, here is the chocolate sprinkle donut sprinkles. And then also I use the peppermint sticks sprinkles and the Santa baby sprinkles. And um, these are in the Cat Scrappiness uh, sequin organizer containers and then I also printed my own labels so to organize those and then I went ahead and put all of three of those sprinkles together to create that mix for my project. So here is the uh, base of the card. It is a A2 size card and I have some red cardstock there that I cut four and a quarter by five and a half so that is going to cover the card base. Here is one of the designer papers that I trimmed up. I didn't use the cocoa side, I used the one with that cute little banner and Santa and snowflake so I just trimmed off a quarter of an inch on each side so it measures four by five and a quarter and then the designer paper has this cute image of this banner that says Christmas treats so I went ahead and fussy cut that out on um, another designer paper that I had extra and then so here is the dies that I used on my card again here is this sweet word and sentiment die there and I went ahead and picked this red polka dot paper that is in the Cup of Christmas um, paper pack and cut that out. Here is the stitched circle die from the Crafters Essentials die set. I went ahead and cut it out of craft cardstock. And to create a donut, I went and used the smallest die in the embossed edge circle dies and uh, centered that in my. A die cut there and I created that donut and then here is the Christmas ornament shaker dies and I went ahead and used the round ball shaker ornament set there and I cut the base in white cardstock the shaker frame in uh, craft cardstock and then I used that base die to cut the acetate sheet to close off my shaker window and I trimmed off that little ornament topper there. So the Slimline Mountainscape die set, I didn't use it as mountains. I liked the stitched detail and the wonky edge there and it kind of reminded me of the icing. So I went ahead and used that large mountain die and I cut the um, polka dot designer paper from Cup of Christmas and I just uh, cut a piece off using that um, stitched edge there and then I trimmed it off with the stitching uh, to create that stitching detail at the top so that it's nice and cohesive with the stitching detail and then I cut the stitched circle die 
that I used for my donut first and then I went um, and got that mountain scape die and used it to cut the um, icing edge and I like how that looked so I didn't use it as a mountain I used it I was inspired by that donut designer paper and that's what I used it for so you can get a lot of use out of that um, die set so here I'm taking some distress oxide uh, walnut stain uh, ink there and I'm just applying it to the craft card stock to add some dimension and to darken up that um, donut piece that I created so I'm just go just lightly or heavily um, going over the uh, donut there getting some color on it and then I'm also getting that uh, craft ornament there and adding some of the walnut stain as well so I'm not actually going to be using the ornament um, shape on my card I'm just gonna hide that uh, ornament topper so that only the round part of the ornament shows you'll see as I put this together so here I'm just creating the ornament part there the shaker part and so I'm getting some liquid glue and I'm going to go ahead and seal off that shaker window frame and uh, making sure that uh, the edges there have glue so that it seals that window and that none of the sprinkles that I add will fly out of that ornament there. So here I'm just um, pressing it nice and firm and closing off that shaker window. And then next I go ahead and just prep it by adding some uh, foam adhesive tape, cutting it to size uh, so that it is hidden behind that craft card stock. I'll finish it later. I just wanted to show you how I seal off that window. So now I'm going to put this card together. So that is my card base there, A2 size. Uh, it's on 110 pound card stock. And here is the red card stock that I cut four and a quarter by five and a half. I apply some uh, paper adhesive to the back and then line it up and then adhere it to the base and then here is that uh, designer paper that I cut at four by five and a quarter so I cut off a quarter inch on each side and I go ahead and center that on my card base so and then I go ahead and add the icing at the top of that designer paper so that it kind of looks like icing dripping from the top just like the donut that we created so i lined that up so that the uh, red cardstock still shows through um, the card base there here is that donut and then i'm going to assemble this here is the a donut icing that we created using the stitch circle die and also the large um, mountain scape die so i go ahead and line up that circle die and glue on that icing so then um, next after that i am trying to um, figure out the placement of the uh, pieces all the elements to my card and here i'm just going to complete the foam adhesive tape on the shaker window and here there is the sh christmas ornament shaker die and as you can see i am tucking in that ornament topper there so that all you see is that round shape so it's like um a donut shaker so here are the three sprinkles that I used again the chocolate sprinkle uh, donut sprinkles the peppermint sticks sprinkles and the Santa baby sprinkles which is um, just cute little Santa faces and I thought that matched perfectly with the paper as you can see there is 
little Santa heads on the designer paper. And then here um, you see I trimmed off the foam adhesive tape, making sure that all the adhesive backing is peeled off. There are the sprinkles right in the middle, and that completes that little shaker part. Uh, the Christmas ornament shaker dies do come with also a matching or a coordinating die cut die uh, topper for that top piece there for the ornament, but I don't use it because it's going to be hidden. So I add some more foam tape behind that topper just to uh, make it more sturdy and stable. So then next I go ahead and adhere that to my card and layering that donut die cut that we created and then I'm using the foam adhesive tape again so I'm using the same foam adhesive tape so it's that they layer nicely and they're at the um, same um, height as all the dimensional pieces that we added so I just add some glue to that topper there and then place that ice donut on the bottom right and here I'm just making sure that my placement is correct and there is that um, Christmas treats banner that we uh, that I fussy cut from the cup of Christmas slimline paper pack and here I'm also deciding how to adhere that sweet sentiment onto the card so I use some liquid adhesive for that banner and then the sweet sentiment uh, there I go ahead and use more of the foam adhesive tape because not all of the letters are on the um, ornament shaker there so some of the letters hang off so I go ahead and add some foam adhesive tape to the back of the letters there and um, make sure that it's nice and adhered to the card and it doesn't move around. So here I put foam adhesive tape on the S and on the T and add some liquid adhesive to the rest of the letters because it's going to be on top of that um, donut ornament that we created there. So here I just line it up um, making sure the sentiment overlaps the Christmas treats banner and it's nice and level. And then um, I did notice that some of the letters still needed a little bit more um, foam tape so I would just go ahead and cut off like a little piece and put it behind the E there. So yeah, so that pretty much completes the um, card there. And then I wanted to add more of the sprinkles. So here I'm using, again, liquid glue. And that uh, tray there is from Cat Scrappiness. So that's perfect to hold all your little mini embellishments. And then the uh, embellishment tool that I'm using there is also from Cat Scrappiness. So I'm taking some of those peppermint swirl sprinkles and I'm placing them on some of the polka dots at the base of the card and then also on my little makeshift donut there. Uh, that embellishment tool has like a waxy um, black tip on one end and then like a little poker on the other. So here you can see it's easily um, you could easily use it to pick up your sprinkles there. So that pretty much completes my card. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it shows you that you can use your dies in different ways. You don't actually have to use it for um, the way that it's intended. Just use your imagination and that's what I created. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon.